LabConco's VacuBrand Hybrid Vacuum Pump is recommended for use during lyophilization or evaporation when acids or solvents are used. This video will cover installing a new combination pump. To begin, remove the pump from its shipping carton. Remove the protective covers from the inlet and outlet ports. Inspect the equipment for damage. If the pump is damaged, notify the carrier within three days. Lifting from the handle, move the pump to the installation site. The pump is shipped without oil. You must add oil before operating. To add oil, remove the manometer and adapter using a face wrench WF-17. Start by pouring approximately 350 milliliters of oil into the pump. Reinstall the manometer and o-ring. Turn the pump on for 5 to 10 minutes with the inlet closed. After running the pump, turn the pump off and remove the manometer and inlet cap. Add an additional 100 milliliters of oil. Do not overfill the pump. Reinstall the manometer and check the oil level. Connect the 3 quarter inch OD adapter using the clamps provided for connection to your equipment. Running the pump with the gas ballast closed will allow for a deep vacuum. It's recommended to vent the pump into a chemical fume hood to prevent vapors from escaping into the lab. To do this, attach a hose to the exhaust of the pump and run the hose into a fume hood. Once the pump is connected, check all hoses and clamps for vacuum tightness. Turn the pump on and tighten the clamps under vacuum making sure not to cut into the hose. Before each use, check the oil level and clarity using the viewing window on the front of the pump. Monitor the levels of the catch pot. The condensate levels must be below the bottom of the separator tube. When shutting down the pump, it's best to run the pump with the gas ballast open for several minutes. This purges contaminants that may be in the oil to prolong the life of the pump. For more information, contact LabConco at 800-821-5525.